Having great Amazon views can make or break your product, and VOC AI or VOC AI is the best tool to analyze these reviews using artificial intelligence. In this video, I'll explain how VOC AI works and how it can help you understand customer feedback on your Amazon account. We'll look at its features, ease of use, and how it can guide you to make smarter business decisions. So without further ado, let's dive into this review. VOC AI is an innovative tool that uses artificial intelligence to analyze Amazon reviews. It quickly sorts through thousands of reviews to show you clear insights about your actual product listing. The tool classifies feedback into positive, negative, and neutral categories. This makes it easy for you to understand what customers really think about your product listing. By highlighting common trends and themes, VOC AI provides actionable information. The tool helps you identify strengths and weaknesses in your listings, and overall it turns raw data into simple, useful advice. One of the strongest features of VOC AI is its sentiment analysis. It uses natural language processing to determine the tone of each review. This means it can tell if the review is praising your product or pointing out issues. The analysis is detailed enough to spot recurring issues that actually might need attention. It also identifies popular keywords that customers use quite frequently. These insights can help you improve your product descriptions and its features. The user interface of VOC AI is designed to be both functional and clear. When you log in, you'll see a dashboard that displays all the important metrics in one centralized location. Charts and graphs show trends over time, making it easy to spot changes in customer sentiment. The design is so straightforward that even someone with just basic technical skills can navigate it very easily. You can quickly find information that you need without getting lost in complicated issues or menus. This simplicity makes the tool accessible to any seller out there. And in addition, the dashboard is also customizable, so you can focus on what actually matters most inside of your business. VOC AI also connects directly with your Amazon account to fetch the latest reviews that are coming in. This means you don't have to manually collect data, which just saves you a ton of time. The tool updates also regularly, so you can always have access to current information. Real-time analysis is key when you need to react quickly to customer feedback. If you notice a sudden change in reviews, you can address issues right away. This continuous stream of data helps you keep your product listings up to date. And in essence, VOC AI ensures that you're never out of touch with your customers' opinions. Now, accuracy is also another major advantage of VOC AI. The tool's algorithms have been trained on a large set of review data to deliver reliable results. This means that you can trust the insights it provides without needing to verify every detail manually. High accuracy reduces the risk of making changes based on false signals. When you know the data is correct, you can confidently improve your product listings and, of course, your accuracy. Now, one of the other important considerations here is speed. This is another important benefit that VOC AI offers. It processes large volumes of reviews in literally just a few minutes. Fast processing is crucial here, especially when you want to address your customer concerns quickly. And this tool helps you react and make market changes almost in real time. Now that we talked about some of his features though, let's actually show you how to even use this platform as well as how to get started with them for the cheapest price possible. First things first, if you want to get started with Vok AI for as cheap as possible, make sure you use that link down in the description. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now as you can see, you can understand your customers and increase your sales by having insights on what your customers are actually saying. You can also use their brand new AI chatbot that they just recently introduced. What's interesting about this AI chatbot is that basically you can chat with it very similar to how you would chat with something like ChatGBT or DeepSeek. Once you're chatting with this, you can have a clear understanding of what your customer metrics are actually trying to tell you. And by clearly understanding these, you can make decisions based off those implications and have smarter marketing and smarter business decisions because of it. Now, as you can see here, we'll go up to the top here and all we have to do to actually get started with Voc AI is hit the sign up button. Once we hit that sign up button, it will then take us to their sign up page. We'll enter in our email address, create a password, and then hit the continue. Now, the best part about Voc AI is that you can get started with them with no credit card needed. That means it's completely free to start with them and you only have to start paying once you want more advanced features. Speaking of those features, let's go take a look at them. If we go back to Valoc.ai and we go back to pricing, we can take a look at their pricing structure. Now, as you can see, for their basic monthly plan, it's completely free. Zero dollars a month, you don't have to pay anything and you'll get access to 50 AI messages a month. Now, this plan also includes some other interesting features like these, which is their AI replay function, live chat function, multiple channel integration, knowledge base, AI assisted browser plugins, 
in multi-language. If we want to go even further here, we can go to their most popular plan, which is their pro plan. And the best part is that you can start this with a free trial, meaning that you can get access to all these amazing features inside the pro plan without having to actually worry about paying for them. As you can see, they get everything you get in the free plan, plus basic analytics, and just access in general to more AI messages. You can also scale that up to 10,000 AI messages for a little bit more expensive. Now, if we actually end up going with our contact sales option here, this is more if you're looking to code based on their platform and see how you can work with them. I would recommend everybody just get started with their free plan or use the free trial on their pro plan as those are probably going to be the plans that you're going with. And really quickly here, just to take a look at some of the tools that they offer, here's just a few examples. They have a ton of chat GBT integrations with Amazon, which are super easy to use and helps you actually understand what your customers are truly looking for based off the reviews that they're giving. We can also scroll down here and they have a social media caption generator, Shopify stores and gaining insights on those. They have a username generator, Instagram hashtag generator, a chat PDF where you can chat with your large PDF files, as well as an AI translator and a host of other options. Now, if we actually go to the product option, we can see that their AI chat box and the VOC analysis is their main concern here. Let's head over to their AI chatbot though and learn a little bit more about what this is actually offering us. Now, this is claiming to be the most accurate AI chatbot, which basically gives us access to 80% of client inquiries without actually requiring human intervention. And we can also contact sales if we want a more specific use case with this specific feature. And then of course, there's the other big product, which is their VOC analysis function. And really quickly here, this is what it will look like inside of VOC AI once you actually get into it in the first place. As you can see, all we have to do is enter a product keyword or an ASIN to generate a report. So let's say for instance, I want to look for a hydro flask water bottle. I'll hit the search button, which will then, oops, I actually have to spell hydro flask correctly. Once I type this into the search bar, I'll then hit the search button. Once I've done that, it'll then come up with some of the options here. Now we want a little bit more specific here. So I'll probably choose one of these, which will be something like hydro flask lunch bag or something like that. We'll then hit the generate button and then do the AI analyze button. Once we hit that button, it will then start generating a huge analysis of these specific listings. As you can see here, this is the report list and it's going to start generating just like this and give us a complete analysis of this listing. Now, as a really good example here, let's go to this earbud headphones option. As you can see, the total ASIN is 90 here, and we can take a deeper analysis that they performed for these headphones. As you can see, they give us a customer profile. What this does is that it basically generates most commonly mentioned and most commonly moment of use in every day, as well as some other really important metrics that we can see. We can see the who, when, where, and what options here, as well as specific actual categories. Let's say when, every day, Christmas is really popular, for these headphones and where maybe in the gym maybe in your pocket and then what workout or a gift to give someone and then who are these most popular for son daughter husband and then obviously you kind of get an idea of this you can also scroll down further here and see a quick little review of some of these reviews that have been left for these specific headphones if we go even further we can also see you should scenarios which give us a real world usage of scenarios by customers to understand better about how they're actually using these products into their day-to-day -day lives if we scroll even further Further, we can also see a rating optimization option where we can see actually what actual people mention that are the worst parts about these products and what people mention being the best part about these products. We can then work these into our product descriptions and make things that actually talk to people's specific pain points and make it even more attractive to purchase the product in the first place. We can also scroll even further down and see an overall customer sentiment report. This gives us a really good idea of our negative feedbacks on top topics and what those topics mostly are, as well as an overall broader understanding of why people are giving that actual negative review in the first place. We can scroll even further down and see a positive version of this, where we can see the positive reviews that people are leaving, depending on the actual product quality and the specific thing that the product has that people are excited about. We can also scroll even further down and see a buyer's motivation, which actually tells us what made them purchase in the first place, whether that was of a good value, great sound quality, comfortable, great for the gym, and other reasons. And then of course, there's also customer expectations for things like battery life, durability, comfort. And again, just having these actually at our fingertips allows us to write a better Amazon listing in the first place, giving more details and actually talking to our customers' pain points, which ultimately leads to higher conversion rates. There's also something new that they have here called the keyword analysis tool, which is basically how we can analyze already existing keywords for other Amazon listings. As you can see here, we have the fitness tracker here, which I can click on and see a complete keyword breakdown of everything that they're ranking for and what they're ranking for most consistently and more importantly, efficiently. There's also the negative review detector, which is a really great way to detect if you have a negative review where you as a brand or as an Amazon page can respond to them super quickly. And then that 
that is pretty much it for those features. There's also market insights that you can get where you can see what kind of markets are actually being sold in other products and your competitors and how they're selling them. But other than that, for Voc AI, that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions about this platform, make sure to leave them down in the comments section. Also, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of our future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one today and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.